Karen Fields has been in crippling pain for most of her life. Complex bone disease meant she had her first hip replacement at the age of just 12. Her left knee is on the brink of collapse. Now I have no cartilage in there, there's um, a, a shattered patella. The outcome from a orthopaedic point of view is to replace that knee. Last year, Karen opted for stem cell therapy. She raised the thousands of dollars needed for the treatment through crowdfunding with support from Melbourne's music scene. It's been almost six months now and it feels great. I'm a little bit more flexible. It could be the neuroplasticity of, of believing that something is working inside my knee as well that makes me feel good. But whatever it is, I feel better. Up until now, stem cell therapy using fat cells from the patient has been largely unregulated and the industry has boomed. Nathan Peets is another stem cell convert. Playing Melbourne Storm down there and a big fellow was having a run and I shot out from outside in and tried to make a tackle and he put a bit of footwork on it and I twisted and felt my knee pop. After suffering a serious knee injury in 2015, the Gold Coast Titans rugby league player was facing major surgery. Stem cell therapy sounded like a good alternative. And there wasn't a lot of proof out there, there wasn't a lot of, a lot of evidence, but there was a lot of people that supported it as well, so I thought I'd, I'd give it a go and, and have a crack. He credits the treatment with saving his career. From my own experience, it worked for me and I'm happy. Good morning, Robert. Good to see you. Old Nathan Peet's doctor, sports yes, physician yeah. Donald uh, Quar, has treated hundreds of patients using stem cells. I'll talk you through each step for you. Yeah, that's OK. OK. Today, 88-year-old Robert Williams is undergoing stem cell treatment for painful arthritis. Robert, we're about to start. OK, so this has had some time now to, to kick in for you. Yes. We access patients' fat um, through liposuction procedure. That fat is then broken down in a laboratory and processed. We then inject those cells back into the injured body part. Those cells then release a whole bunch of uh, secretions that signal and promote healing and, and reduced inflammation in the joint. That's one down, three to go. Good. We've got a growing body of evidence in terms of use in osteoarthritis. Clinical trials done in humans um, uh, and, and published in peer-reviewed journals. What we don't have is a knockout punch, a level one study that medicine likes. OK, Robert, so I can see your ankle joint now. They're buying something that's yet, yet to be proven. Scientist Megan Munsey is among stem cell experts and peak medical bodies who've been calling for tighter regulation of the industry. So, in effect, is it still an experimental procedure? Oh, absolutely. It certainly is still an experimental procedure for many conditions. The only proven stem cell treatments are really utilising the stem cells in the bone marrow or in cord blood for diseases that affect the blood and immune system, like leukaemia. Since 2011, we've seen the stem cell industry grow from two clinics to now over 50. And these clinics are offering treatments for dementia, for osteoarthritis, for motor neuron disease, for rejuvenation and even erectile dysfunction. Because patients are given their own cells, the process is exempt from the normal regulations governing cell therapy. People might think they're getting a treatment that's been shown to work, that is safe, but really, I think they're buying hope in many instances. While there are no official figures, anecdotally there are not just successes, but failures. I guess it seemed like there was a miracle out there, that if you're prepared to pay the money, that this miracle could be performed and you would be rid of that pain and I guess most people in that situation would just jump at it, which I did. Warren Williams has chronic back pain and can't walk far these days. He heard about the Macquarie Stem Cell Centre, run by Dr Ralph Bright, 
one of the industry's most visible advocates. Uh, the therapeutic um, miracle the of this Chris decade. Smith show on 2GB for Macquarie Stem Cells Arthritis Treatment. To what be stem can cell therapy help cure in a way? Yes, the potential is that we can eventually fix an enormous number of these things mm. that are problems for us now. He said 95% of his patients have had success with this treatment. How about the cost? Cost was uh, $9,000 up front and an extra $2,000 if you wanted extra treatments. But it didn't get rid of the pain. It was difficult for me to sort of cope with that sort of feeling that there's nothing left for me. I've just got to put up with the pain. So how have you been? Good. Good. Yeah. Dr. Ralph Bright agreed to an interview with 7.30 on the condition that we speak to one of his satisfied patients. Treatment on Ron Williams' ankles has been a success. The pain was horrendous. I was four lots of pain medication a day and since the operation, the first operation um, for the stem cells, I haven't taken any medication at all. You know, um... But not everyone is so lucky. Thanks. Well, We've spoken to one of your patients, Warren Williams. He paid his $11,000 and he said there was no improvement and he's possibly worse. That is very likely to be true and it is very clear that he is in that very small percentage of people who just don't get a response. And unfortunately, at this point in time, there's nothing I can do to change the way he responds to his own cells. Warren uh, says that you sold him on a miracle. <laughs> for, Is that taking advantage of someone who's desperate? For many people, this treatment is a miracle.